downloaded this game. And the reason I downloaded is I was just feeling like playing an MMO for a little bit. And, um, much unique. Okay. Let me look up the student Rain. That's my daughter's name, Rainbow. We'll do the bow too. Look at name. How is that name? That's my daughter's name. I, I doubt she's playing it. Let's try my old classic. Or two. This fact I gotta look it up is kind of silly. How is Word Two not available? Let's do. Before you begin, you will read through the controls guide in the top left of the screen. When you're ready to get started, click on a Gilinor guide. He is indicated by a flashing yellow. So use the arrow keys to rotate. Okay, that's interesting. Scroll in and out, of course. I don't want to move. Okay. So basically, this is like a slightly, I don't know if I'd call it a slightly graphically, okay, talk to, greetings to see my arrival, my job is welcome, so welcome to continue, we already learned the first thing you need to succeed, walk, talking to other people, woo, yeah, that was a big one. You may find many inhabitants of this world have useful things to say. By clicking on them, you can talk to them. Oh, will they have useful things to say? Oh, I see the glare. I see the glare. Before we get going, if you could be so kind to let me know how much experience you've had with O. Okay, I'll let you know. To answer, click your answers on the following screen. Okay, I am brand new. I am brand new. Click here to continue. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, a lot of clicking now. Now then, let's start by looking at your settings menu. Please click on the flashing spanner icon. Okay, so that's how I get the settings. PK Skull Prevention, okay, play attack options, NPC, okay. So I gotta talk to the guide again. Okay. Meet your first instructor. Oh wow. Moving on. Tell me to continue all you need to do is click on the door. It is indicated by a flashing yellow. Remember, you can use your arrow keys. Okay, open door. <coughs> Follow the path. Oh, no, that's not the path. Diablo now. 
First, we're gonna do some fishing. There's some shrimp in this pond. Let's try and catch some. Uh, I got a fish. I rarely fish in any games, except for uh, Minecraft. I do a lot of fishing in Minecraft. Give me the items you've been given. Okay, what is that? A small fishing net. Use it. To start fishing, right click on the spot. Right click. Oh. Net fishing spot. You managed to cut some shrimp. Oh wow. That was so difficult. Click on the fashion bar to see your skills menu. Okay. You can view your skills. Your skills can be leveled up by earning, which is gained by performing various activities. As you level up your skills, you will earn new unlocks. Speak to the survival expert to continue. I've managed to catch some shrimp. Excellent work. Now that you have some fresh, you're going to want to cook them. Some shrimp, you're going to want to cook them. To do that, you need fire! This brings us on to the wood cutting and fire making skill. The survival gives you a bronze, axe, and a tender box. It's time to cook your shrimp. However, you require fire to do that, which means you're going to need some logs. You can cut down trees using your wood cutting skills. All you need is an axe. Give it a go. Okay. is an Intel R Core TM i7 9750H. My CPU is 2.6 gigahertz. I have six cores. Uh, what's my, my I think I'm, available memory? Installed memory 24 gigabytes. 
So, like I said, it's a 500 gigabyte SSD drive, I believe. And so, the machine's powerful enough to run this game, but so far, to tell you the truth, there was nothing in here made me want to run it again. I'll probably uninstall this. 